If you have ever created graphical user interfaces with Python using TK, you have probably felt that they look pretty dull and boring. But with the help of an extension, TTK Bootstrap, they can look much better. TTK Bootstrap is an extension for TK that provides pre-made widgets with set colors and styling. This helps to make your application look much better and more professional. Let's get started. We'll work on building a simple application for users to enter the data and I'll showcase more complex examples of that. Firstly, let's install it by using the command pip install ttk bootstrap in a command prompt. We will then import it and give it an alias of ttk to make it easier to use. Now, since ttk bootstrap is built on top of tk Intel, we can use it just like tk Intel. For example, we can add a label or any other widget you would normally find in TK Inter, such as an entry widget. The only difference is that TTK Bootstrap has added some default styling to them already, and we can then customize them with more options. For our application, let's first create a window, and I will assign it to a variable called app. I will then set its size manually using the geometry tree method, and specify the width and height as 600 by 500 pixels. Note that this is just like how we would do it as well if we were creating a normal TK Inter application. Next, we will create a label using the label widget, pass in the app, and I will set the text to contact information. Using the pad method, we place it within the application and I will give it a padding of 30 pixels vertically using pad one. I'll also configure the label to change its font, increase the font size and to make it bold like so. For the entry widgets, let's first create a frame and pass in the app. We create a frame so that it allows us to place the label and entry widgets side by side. We will use the pad method to put the frame inside our app. I'll set the vertical padding pad Y to 15 pixels and the horizontal padding pad X to 10 pixels. We will also need to set the field X so it takes up as much space horizontally as possible. We will put the label inside the frame first. The text tells the user what to enter. We will then pack it inside the frame with the side set to left and a horizontal padding of 5 pixels. I will do something similar for the entry widget. But I'll set expand to true to indicate that any extra space should be given to the entry widget. At the bottom, I'll use app.main loop to run our application. And if we run our application now, we can see those hidden entry and label widgets being added. Next up, I'll duplicate the code for adding the name to create another one for the email field. Below all of the input fields, I want to create two buttons for the success and cancel buttons. We can do this by creating a frame for the buttons, adding it to our application using .pack. And I'll add slightly more padding vertically here to 50 pixels using the pad one keyword argument. Now the button widget is one where TTK Bootstrap gives us quite a lot of customization options for. If we look at the documentation, we can see that the boot style keyword argument accept preset values such as success or danger to set its styling automatically. For our submit button, I'll give it a boot style of success. Remember to also pack it to place it within the application, giving it a side of left to place the button side by side and a padding of X to 10 pixels to space them out. I will also do the same to create another button for cancel. And I'll set the boot style for it to secondary.
let's run the application now and we can see that all of these styling have been added accordingly. This would be possible to do with just tkinter, but would take a long time to manually customize the widgets to get it to look like this, especially with some of the more advanced widgets we'll look at later on. So hopefully you're starting to see how much easier this makes working with tkinter. We position our widgets like how we would do when using tkinter, but have additional customization options with the help of TTK Bootstrap. Feel free to play around with different values for the button's boot style to get a better feel for how it works. A problem that might arise is that we may accidentally spell these style preset values such as success wrongly. To prevent that, TTA Bootstrap provides the TTK Bootstrap Constants module and you can import everything from it like so. What this does is that it provides the code suggestions for these preset style values. So instead of writing success as a string value, we can just use the success variable that this module provides. It will still give the same value of success as a string to the boot style keyword argument. But the benefit here is that it gives us the code suggestion, which prevents us from typing the wrong style value. Lastly, I'll add a check button widget to our application. I will first add a frame for the checkbox before the buttons and pack it. We use the check button widget, which we can specify the text for. If we look at the documentation for the check button, we can also customize its type and color. I'll go for the round toggle style. Let's also pack it to the left side of our application with some horizontal padding of 10 pixels. So hopefully this simple application for users to enter data helps you be more familiarized with using TTK Bootstrap. It looks much better than the standard widgets that come with TK in there without having to do much extra. And one of the benefits that come with using TTK Bootstrap is that it also allows you to change the theme. The theme is responsible for the colors that each boot style is given. To change it, we can set the theme name when we initialize the window of our application. You can find these preset values in the documentation which I'll link below where they are categorized as dark and light themes. For example, if we use this sidewalk dark theme, all the colors of our widgets and app are automatically changed. I'll use a light theme instead. This minty one seems to fit well here. This is definitely far easier than manually trying to start or take in the application, and I'll definitely recommend you to try different values using the documentation to help further customize your application. There are many possibilities when it comes to using this extension for the hinder. Here's one example of a calculated application that makes use of the superhero theme and the boot style to set the styling for each button. Here's another example of an uptime application I've quickly created as an example that can be used to track a website's responses and response times over time. It makes use of widgets such as the table widget and the meter widget which are unavailable in the TK in the library and are instead added by TK Bootstrap as additional widgets you can use in your applications. The documentation for these widgets that are made specifically by TTK Bootstrap can be found under the API section of their documentation. I will leave all of the code for this video including all of the examples in the GitHub link below if you would like to view them. 
that's all for this video. Hopefully it has helped you in creating more professional and modern graphical user interface applications using TK Inter in Python instead. If it has, I would recommend watching this other video of mine about TK Inter vs PyQD, another framework for more advanced applications in Python. Besides that, please consider possibly liking this video and subscribing to my channel for more such content.